The interface of Capture One is essentially divided into four different areas. Tool tabs with tools to the left, viewer in the center, browser to the right, and the toolbar at the top, which also contains the cursor tools. The tools are divided into tool tabs for different categories of tools. The library tab contains tools for managing and filtering your photos. The camera tab is for tether workflows where you can connect a camera to your computer. The lens tab contains cropping, rotating and lens correction tools. The color tab contains tools for adjusting colors and white balance, including the black and white tool. The exposure tab contains tools for adjusting exposure, brightness and contrast. The details tab includes sharpening and noise reduction tools. The adjustments tab contains presets and styles as well as the adjustments clipboard. The metadata tab includes annotations, keywords and metadata. The output tab is where you can create and adjust process recipes for exporting to your final formats like TIFF and JPEG. The last tab is the batch queue which contains a list of images added to the queue and a history of images that have been processed. Each tool tab has a pinned area of tools and a scrollable area of tools. Tools can easily be dragged between the two spaces. The browser shows available photos from the current collection as chosen in the library tool. The viewer shows the currently selected photo from the browser. With the pan cursor tool selected, I can double click to zoom in. And of course, click drag to pan around and double click once more to zoom out. Alternatively, I can use the icons up in the top right hand corner once again to zoom to 100% or to fit screen and any other zoom level in between. The toolbar contains various action buttons that we can enable, for example, to view exposure warnings or to view the grid. Also on the toolbar are the cursor tools which change the behavior of the cursor. For example, to the crop cursor tool. To continue to crop an image, either drag the handles in the corner or of course on the edge. A right click will show a sub menu where you can decide on the crop ratio. A couple of standard modifier keys can be used. For example, shift dragging will lock the aspect ratio and option dragging will crop around the center of the photo. The crop will remain in the viewer until you choose another cursor tool or you can simply hit enter to commit. Most of the tools in Capture One work in a very similar way. Simply drag the slider to change the adjustment. To preview any particular adjustment, just long press on the name itself. And to reset any slider, just double click. Each tool has a couple of standard features linked to them via the icons in the top. The question mark icon takes you directly to a Capture One support site explaining the tool. The wand icon is for auto adjusting the tool. The double sided arrow is a tool based copy apply feature which can be handy for quick selective copying. The rounded arrow resets the entire tool and the hamburger menu contains presets for the tool. The three dots function as a sub menu with additional tool based features. The interface in Capture One is highly customizable. Watch our tutorial on how to customize your workspace for more information.